Hello, my name is Zaki Hussain and I'm the plugin author of this table of content. I'm going to show you how to configure this table of content and use with your website. As you can see, I have already installed it. Now I'm going to show you how to configure it. So you need to go to the backend setting and type TOC. Go to the configuration link and here you can configure the table of content. Now, if you want to apply it on all static pages, click on it. And if you want to apply it on all CMS pages, click on it. Save it. One more thing you need to do is to go to the layout. And remember one thing, this layout must be uh, used on both static pages and CMS pages. So you need to add a component on this layout. So the component is added now. Now I'm going on front end. As you can see, this table of content has been generated over here. And uh, this table of content is generated by the available headings on that page. These two are my static pages and table of content has been generated for these pages too. Now we can change the design of this table of content and also we can move this table of content top and bottom. If I go to the general setting, click on bottom, save it. So this table of content has been moved from top to the bottom. There is a tape customized design here you can completely design this table of content and change the color according to your website. I have put it on top again. Now if a client, now if someone want to move this table of content inside the static pages so someone want to show this thing so this table of content over here you need to go to the backend pages this is my page static page go to the snippet select the snippet go to the full screen move this snippet to this page save it now, as you can see, this table of content has been moved over here. Now, if someone want to apply this table of content on uh, some content part, like someone want to apply it on this part, I'm going to show you this by example of a blog page. Here in my CMS, as you can see, I have already a blog and uh, this is my blog detail page and as you can see a table of content is already you can see here and you can see because it is applied on all cms pages here when you selected this this is the reason why this blog detail has a table of content about the blog. This is the blog title and this is the blog content which starts from here. And someone want to apply this table of content on this blog content only, not on the whole blog detail page. You need to be know a little bit uh, development part and uh, that's why I'm going to show you how to do this. So you need to go to the main root directory of October CMS plugin when layer block here in component you need to copy the post component and go to the theme partial and paste this component over here. And one more thing, as you can see on blog detail page, 
an alias has been used so we need to apply this alias we need to rename this folder with this alias name okay so this is my blog detail page now okay now as you can see it will be show up in my partial section so this is my blog post which i just copied i'm going to open it and i want to apply this table of content on this post content you need to go to my documentation and need to copy this code and you need to apply this code over here save it now go to the blog detail page as you can see this table of content has been applied on this whole blog content first but there is one more list one one more tabular list table of content list you can see here and it is coming in because we applied the automatically on all cms pages so you need to exclude this page and save it so this is how you can use this plugin and configure it according to your needs it can be used on any article news or faqs anywhere in the website i hope you like this plugin and thank you for installing this plugin and let me know if you if you need any improvement i will i will improve it thank you